Groves, the Muhammad Ali Trophy is at stake. Please step into the Callum Smith, George Groves, the Muhammad Ali Trophy is at stake. Please. Where's Ali Trophy? Paul, where's Ali Trophy? Where's Ali Trophy? Cracker's got the Ali Trophy. Paul, We need the trophy. Down there, that's right. 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 Right
Hi, looking at the bottom for Callum Smith. Callum Joe uh, too low to say in John. So we can move seated to go back. Hey, Rogue's coming. Anyone back me? Yes, Does anyone back me? Does anyone back me? But they will bring him and then they can show some appreciation yeah. when he comes. Hey, you can pay me in Wednesday. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone. Do, do we have any sound here? Hello? Hello? All right, here we are. <laughs> Welcome to this uh, post fight press conference uh, ahead of this historic final here in Jeddah. On the top table, we have the new world champion the Ali Trophy winner, Callum Smith. We have his coach, Joe Gallagher, promoter, Eddie Hearn, and Komosa's chief boxing officer, Kalis Sauerland. I would like to uh, give the word to Kalis Sauerland to uh, talk us through what we saw tonight, Kalle. Yes, uh, good evening. Um, we uh, saw the first big boxing event in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we're very thankful and grateful to the excellent partnership with the GSA and we look forward to promoting many fights here to come. I think tonight we witnessed a sensational fight, a fight full of real power but also of real technical ability. Both athletes and gladiators had a superb game plan. Um, Callum Smith executed it to absolute perfection. Um, we said before the fight, you know, George Groves was the man to beat in the division. That torch has passed tonight to Callum Smith. He certainly executed the game plan. Um, I think Joe Gallagher got him into uh, a terrific condition, but also had the right strategy. Um, it was a high-risk uh, strategy, but you, had to go, you have to take a high risk to win at this level, and that's clear. So um, my absolute congratulations. I've known the Smith family many years now, uh, the father and obviously the brothers. And uh, an absolute congratulation, I think, a round of applause uh, for Callum Smith and, the, and Joe Gallagher. <laughs> I'd also like to say some word about George Groves. Um, he's not here yet. He's just getting a small cut uh, stitched. I think, you know, he also played a big part in making this a great fight. Um, it takes two real men, real gladiators, to put it all on the line. They both did that tonight, and uh, also a huge congratulations to him, but maybe save your applause for when he's here as well. Um, with that, um, I think the best thing for me to do would be to pass it over to the new number one in the super middleweight division, Mr. Callum Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Callum, how does it feel to uh, sit there with the trophy and uh, the world championship belt? This is uh, the dream uh, from <laughs> in many years. It's your childhood dream. How does it feel right now? Yeah, it feels, feels very good. I think it'll sink in a little bit more over the next days or weeks, but it's been a long time coming. Um, it's something I've always believed I was capable of doing since I was a little boy. It's always been a dream of my man, and since I turned professional, I always believed in my own ability, and I think... I had a slow last couple of years, a few below par performances and people ripped me off and no, there was a lot of people 
picking George to win this fight and felt I was out of my depth and I always knew I was good enough and I think I showed tonight that I could match him at his game, the jabbing game. He's got a very good jab, but I believe I matched him and, and I always knew I had the power to hurt him and you know, I, I thought I hurt him a couple of times, the head before the finish and then I hit him in the head and I think it was the body shot that finished him, but it was a good fight, it was a good thinking fight. He's definitely the best I've been in with so far and he kept kept me thinking, kept me guessing all the way through and I had to stay switched on and be wary of his power and it's a fight I enjoyed. It, it, this level's the level I've always wanted to be at. I finally got here and I've showed that I can't make the jump and it's nice to sit here with the Ring Magazine title, the Ali Trophy, WBA Super, WBC Diamond and now I'm the best super middleweight on the planet and job done, that's exactly what I've always wanted and I've done it. And Callum, how was it to fight here in Jeddah? Very, very good. It was, there was a lot of questions when it was announced, but I can't knock Jeddah. It's been brilliant. The people in the, you know, the hotel, everywhere we've gone, they can't do enough for me. They've made me. I've been here just over a week and they made it as comfortable as possible. And you know, the World Series boxing come at a, at a time when my career was going quite slow. And I can't praise the tournament enough. They promised me you know, the best fighters in the world and the winner would become a, a world champion, the best in the world. And Everything said they've done, they've delivered, and I had to start to do my part and make sure I won each fight. So I think we've both delivered, and no World Series boxing has been very good, and I'd just like to wish you good luck for the next coming season. Thank Thanks, Callum. Joe, it's, it's been a long journey for Callum, but it's also been a long journey for you, uh, an emotional journey. I could see that uh, after the fight. Uh, let's hear your initial thoughts yeah I'm um, just chuffed to bits they say everything comes to those who wait and they tried keeping Callum Smith waiting but I knew once his opportunity come he'd get it with both hands and the best thing about this Callum Smith beat before this fight tonight the number su number one super middleweight in the world recognized by everybody it's not like Callum Smith's won a world title won the Ali trophy and he's only the third best super middleweight he's now classed as the number one super middleweight in the world that's a fantastic achievement in the tournament what a great tournament I'd like to thank the organizers done a great job I'm so proud as a child growing up watching Muhammad Ali box and then to for Callum to be the the first winner of the Muhammad Ali trophy you've just got to let me say that again the first winner of the Muhammad Ali trophy That's 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 just mad, and you look over and you see his daughter's here. It's uh, <laughs> it's fantastic, and for a kid that grew up in a council state um, like these to be sat here now with the, the number one fighter on the planet in the super middleweight division, yeah, like you say, it's emotional. But we beat the best man um, considered on the planet tonight, and we did it in style. Um, you've got to understand this tournament. You've got to play the long game with it, and we did that in the final tonight. And uh, told you we've got a new superstar in world boxing tonight and I hope Callum Smith the Muhammad Ali family the daughters here tonight I hope Callum Smith is a, a, a true role model and I'm sure he won't let you down in winning the trophy for you today so um, I hope he does you proud thank you very much Eddie it's been a long journey for this pair uh, but it's, it's not the end of the journey. Uh, tell us about uh, how do you see the future for Callum? Well, as Joe said, it's been a long time coming. And, uh, you know, when he entered the tournament, the long game was to, to finally become world champion. And I thought it was a brilliant performance and I thought he came of age. And like Joe says, he's the number one in the division. He's top of the tree. And there's a little football club called Liverpool. We've just got a boxing license. Uh, I know he'd love to box next spring or summer, but, you know, right now it's about enjoying this wonderful achievement that, that he's been able to achieve through the World Boxing Super Series and, and stand proud as the number one. And, you know, he deserves a lot of credit for staying patient. And Joe's done a great job keeping him patient. Callum's always been disciplined. He's never one to go off the boil, fall out of love with the sport. He's a quiet man, but he's just stayed disciplined, believed in his own ability and believed that eventually his ability would tell within the sport. And uh, it's a wonderful achievement. And I'd just like to say congratulations as well to the World Boxing Super Series on this event. I mean, you know, the whole concept's been great, but this event, you know, you've got two UK fighters, one from London, one from Liverpool. And I know there was a little bit of criticism about, oh, this fight should take place in England. But when you come here and you see the arena and the atmosphere and, and the way that this sport 
has been welcomed to this region. It makes you realise that it is a global sport. And although British boxing's flying at the moment, and we plan on ma major events in Britain, there is a whole world out there. So for Kala and the team at Camosa to come and build from a, b a blank canvas in terms of commission, infrastructure, doping, paramedics, there's so much work that goes into tournament. But, you know, the people of Saudi made it a great event because we didn't know what to expect. You know, when we came out, we were, we were looking around going, wow, this is great. So congratulations to, to Kala and Camosa and the team for taking the risk as well and trying to push the boundaries of the sport of boxing. And well done to Callum Smith. We're very proud of him. A young man, now achieved his dreams, and it's only just the beginning. Thank you very much. Thanks, Eddie. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Um, let's get some questions. Let's open the floor. Anyone? I don't know, I'll go home, see my family. It's been, a, it's been a long camp. I've had, you know, the fight was made with George Groves in February, and it's been a long time coming. And I've had George Groves on the brain since then, and it's been a long time, and you know, I've, I've been a bit antisocial, and I just want to spend time with my family. I'm going to be a dad in a few months for the first time, so I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. you know, more to life than boxing. I want to be, you know, be, be co enjoy making a family for a bit, and then you know, we'll see, but... I'm the best in the world, and any other super middleweight wants to call himself that, they have to beat me, so I'm in a good position. So any fight I want, I'm sure I can get in the future, but for now it's a bit of family time and just enjoy. You know, I'll finally achieve my childhood dream, which is, you know, it's a nice feeling. No, to be honest with you, but you know, I've always said that boxing is a very tough sport and I don't want to be in it for years and years and you know, take an unnecessary shot, so I wouldn't want to waste my time having pointless fights. I want to get in, see how good I am, box everyone I can and see how far my talent can take me. And I believe I've done that so far and there's, other, there's three other people who call themselves a world champion in my weight division and you know, I'd like to fight some of them, I'd like to unify and you know, collect all the belts, but... Anyone, whoever, you know, I've got a great team around me, and whoever they decide next and makes the most sense, then you know, I'm fighting everyone. I, I enter this tournament knowing there's a lot of good fighters in it, and you know, I'm willing to fight the best, and I think I've shown that tonight by beating George. And that'll be a little Hopefully, yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully, you know, as Eddie mentioned, Anfield's open to boxing now, so I'm ticking off things I've always wanted to do, and Anfield's one that's left, left to tick off. Carl Smith, congratulations. And welcome everyone here in Saudi Arabia. We're so delighted. <laughs> We're so happy. I saw Rashida Muhammad Ali today. I see Hothi. I see Nassim Hamid. So we're so happy here <laughs> to have you in Saudi Arabia. And inshallah, it will not be the last competition here in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Say something for Saudi and uh, 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 for all the Saudi people who are here, uh, who came to the match, who saw the match, and who heard, heard about the match. Saudi people have been brilliant for me all this week. The people in the hotel, I can't praise them enough. They made me week here, you know, perfect. And the atmosphere, there was a lot of questions over what the atmosphere would be like with two English people with not a big fan base coming over, but the atmosphere was just as good as any I've boxed in front of. I got a great reception, as did George. So I just want to thank the people of Saudi for that. Thank you so much. Anfield in the next year. Yes. 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 Well, I think uh, it was always the plan originally, probably two years ago, Joe, wasn't it? And we had, we've actually had meetings with Liverpool before, and they were always welcoming to, to Callum Smith to come and have a big fight. But now, as top of the division, with so many big fights out there, and with them being granted a boxing license as well, and with the growth of stadium events in the UK, it's, it's a natural step, obviously. Now, we have a big TV deal in America now. They'd love to get him out there fighting in America as well. And I think he'd like that as well. So maybe there's two things to tick off the list remaining in his career is Anfield and, and a big fight in Vegas, perhaps. Thanks. Up the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, 
Uh, congratulations, Mr. Dahma, and uh, welcome to Saudi Arabia. Thank you. My question is, how do you see the preparation and the organization of this event, uh, especially this event is uh, hosting in Saudi Arabia for the first time, such this championship? Yeah, it was very good. It was a very good, big occasion. It, it's a, you know, it's a big deal for Saudi to hold the first boxing event, and you know what an event it was—the final of the the World Boxing Super Series and the Muhammad Ali Trophy. And I hope the crowd enjoyed the fight. There was a good atmosphere, and you know, I'd like to think me and George put on a good fight, and all the fans will be going home happy. And hopefully, there's many more to come. Only the third Ring Magazine champion behind Joe Kozagi and yes. Andre Ward. What does that mean to you? What does it mean to Mr. Gallagher? It means a lot. To, you know, I've, there's been a lot of a lot of top world champions, but there's been you know, very few British Ring Magazine champions. And well, the goal was to win a world title, and no, I wasn't being greedy. But the ultimate goal was to become the best in the division, and you know, I've managed to tick both them off in the one fight. So it's something I'm very proud of, and I'm sure it won't sink in for. You know, a, a long time yet, yeah, but it's it's special. And you no, know, when he put it around my waist before, I said to me, brother Liam, I can't believe I've got a Ring Magazine title. You no, know, yesterday I was I wasn't a world champion. Today I'm the best in the world. It, boxing's a funny game, but I always believed in my own ability, and I was good enough to get here. Congratulations, Joe. Yeah, I think. yeah, I just said to Callum in the ring when he won, welcome to the club. Um, I've won in the ring train everything. Yeah. <laughs> said welcome to the club. So. Uh, <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> so, um, by the way, for all those that don't know, Joe Gallagher once won Ring Magazine <laughs> Trainer of the Year. <laughs> and by the way, I'm on the front page of the current edition. Yeah. So, is that no, me? Can I, I in the club? Does yeah, that, no, no, definitely. No? Okay, oh, thanks, thanks, mate. Thanks. <laughs> No, I just think it's just a, a fantastic achievement. I think, like you say, that the amount of British fighters that have won it over the years, um, and he joins in an exclusive club with, um, at the moment, Le Lomachenko, Usyk, and he goes into a group like that where he wins them um, belts. Yes, he is. So it's fantastic. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Many, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that was it. For, can I just say that there's a few special thanks I want to say. It's all about Team Smith. I'd like to give special mention to Jonathan Reynolds, Callum's strength and conditioning coach, who's done a fantastic job whipping him into shape. Um, Scott Robinson, the nutritionist, did a fantastic job. I'd like to thank the corner team, Anthony Crawler, Ross Amber, who travelled all the way over, and um, the Smith family for the support over the years. And um, I'm really glad now that Callum can come home with all the marbles to his mum and, uh, like I say, uh, and hardly a mark on him. He's, she's got the, the number one fighter in, in the world today. And this is a fantastic achievement with the cherry on top for what the Smith family have done in British boxing. Liam's been a world champion. Callum's now a world champion. The four of them have fought for world titles. They've been British titles. And what a fantastic success story. Callum Smith becomes, in my opinion tonight, the most successful boxer from Liverpool ever by the accolades that he's won here tonight. And uh, hopefully his success is celebrated back in Liverpool and England tonight. And I hope Liverpool's been drunk dry tonight, but I just want to say thank you from everyone. Thank you. Um, none in particular. It was always a, a chess match, and I think I, I hurt him a little bit in round three. But you know, he, he survived. He come back and you know finished the round well. And I think I hurt him a, just before the actual knockout. So I think every time I was landing, I was having a slight effect. But he was recovering quite quick, and he's quite dangerous when he's hurt himself. So I, I knew I always had to be patient. But I hurt him bad just before the thing. He wobbled, and I just went in for the kill. And I've always said I like to think. I'm not too bad at finishing once I've got someone, someone hurt. And I remember just thinking, I, I, I might not get it again. I've, I had to take advantage of it this time. I couldn't let him off the hook. And thankfully, I landed a good body shot and it won, it won me the fight. Great. Thank you. 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 Th
think. My second question would be about your new baby born. Do you yeah. know if, if, the, if it's a boy or a girl? No, no, it's a surprise, no. Okay, my question would be, um, would it make you stronger or softer when, when that happens? <laughs> because this is your first experience, yeah. this is your first child. Yeah, yeah, my first child. So I don't do you know. think this would give you more motivation to fight harder or is it going to make you softer? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, maybe, but I don't know. Ask him yeah, there, she'll decide. See if this is okay, but. All right, thank you, everyone. Cal, I think this is the moment to wrap up season one and tell what's next in line for the World Boxing Super Series. Yeah, well. It's, uh, it's certainly been a long and an emotional journey for all of us uh, involved um, and uh, we, we, we're delighted with the success here in Jeddah. Um, like I said, big thanks again to our partners here at the GSA. Uh, we will certainly be back with fights in the future, um, sooner rather than later. Uh, we move on now to season two. Season one is now over, completed and, um, and conquered. And um, and no, we move on to Tokyo next week. Uh, we have a big double header there. Uh, we see the, the monster Inui um, take on Payano. Um, and then uh, we move on from there to, God, uh, Orlando, no, uh, Ekaterinburg, Russia, Orlando, New Orleans, Glasgow, and Chicago in six weeks in a row. So uh, no break, no rest for the wicked. Um, we look forward to bringing this wonderful trophy and thanks again to Rashid Ali for being here tonight. So special, <laughs> such a wonderful lady from such a wonderful family. And she's come all the way from Los Angeles to be here tonight. We're very, very proud of that. Very, very proud of that. And um, we will continue to um, in embrace Muhammad Ali as our virtual ambassador. Um, and um, it's something, I mean, I was, I'm very privileged uh, from a personal note to have met your father at, at the ring uh, in Berlin, 2005. I still have a picture where he's putting his, his hands above my head. He, he liked that. Um, and uh, it, it, that was a very special moment for me. And I'm just very proud to, to be involved in this great team bringing this trophy around the world. And we'll continue to do that. And we'll continue to work with all the best promoters in the world to, to put this together. It's a, it's a team effort. It sits in the world of boxing now in a way that um, I don't think anyone sees it as a threat, but it adds to the sport. And I think that has been very evident. And look at the great fights we've had over the first season in both weight classes. Unbelievable. And that's the proof in the pudding. So thank you very much. Thank you. And good night.